Oh my gosh. We done been home. I done took a shower, changed clothes, got the twins together because I know y'all saw Kaylani head. Look, did y'all see her hair? I don't know, but her head was looking a mess. So I just freshened up her hair in the same style. And um, so now we are about to go and do something with these kids. I must be honest, I'm tired. Me and babe is tired. Okay, but it feels so nice outside, and we have not uh took them anywhere for spring break. So, but first, we are going to go to this place called Everbowl that just opened up here in our area. Well, not in my city, but in the surrounding areas. So, we're going to go there. And then we just, we just, we just, we just going with the flow. Y'all can't even see me. Somebody bass is jumping. Did y'all notice that y'all can't hear that sound in my car anymore? That rattling sound? My daddy fixed my car! <laughs> Thank God for daddies. I'm so happy. Oh, ever since he changed my struts. 
I haven't heard a noise. So, yeah. But I'm dark, y'all, because the, I, I don't know. But as I said, and I keep saying, that time is going to come to an end soon because I'm going to have a sunroof. So, y'all going to see me. It's going to be lights are going to lean up and down. Up in this. You know what I'm saying? Can you gonna let me over now? I am hungry. One that's actually called Everbowl. I don't even know what's the name of the one you got, Elijah. Blue Lagoon, I think. Wrong. Oh. We have my hook. Instead of bananas, I got strawberries. Hypothetical. Wait, if y'all if y'all get a blue lagoon, stir it up first. <laughs> Cause it, it it doesn't taste good when it's just all sitting on top. It really doesn't. Cause like, you gotta get all the stuff. Y'all heard Elijah stir it up first. Yeah, so you can get all the stuff first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it, it got And then we're gonna go get something to eat, y'all. Uh, and hopefully that's the last thing we're gonna do because I'm tired. For real, for real. But it's good though. It's crazy because I actually wanted to get my wanted to make my own acai bowl because I never had one. But it's good. You think you're such a big girl, don't you? You think you're such a big girl, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. I'm so pretty. Come here. You done? You not coloring yours no more? Huh? What are we getting now? Come here. Might not be the same thing. Y'all, Hooters used to have the best mozzarella sticks ever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and now it just tastes. <laughs> Khalil took it out of his mouth and threw it. Yeah, I ordered a Friday. You put it in there. It looks so yellowy. I don't like that. I'm home now. I'm about to get the twins ready for red. And then I probably. Honestly, tomorrow I might rest because I'm tired. And like I've been going through it. I mean, I've been going really hard, like Monday through Friday. So, so I'm about to take me my ashwagandha. You know what? I need to put this in my Amazon storefront because I be telling y'all about stuff. 
And now I can put it in my Amazon storefront. <laughs> no, like the other girls be like, it's in my Amazon storefront. Click the link for my Amazon storefront. Amazon storefront in description. Yada, yada, yada. <laughs> this gonna be my Amazon storefront. It's really good for like relaxing you. Rela it relaxes you, make you have a good sleep. I stopped taking it only because I felt like when I, when it would be time for me to work out, I felt like my body was just dragging. So I noticed that when I would take that, it relaxes you. But if you're like working out, I don't know if I would recommend taking it like consistently because it just makes you feel relaxed. And when I was working out, I just noticed that I was like really tired. So I just took two because I'm not going to be working out tomorrow. But I do want to wake up early tomorrow. So. Come on, come here. I've been waiting for you to come up here. Kalea, come here. Come here, boo. Come here, Kalea. 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 Come say hi to the people. Come here. Say hi. Say hi. Say hello. Say hello. Say hello. <laughs> he been doing better with like um babbling and just, you know, communicating in his own way when we did take them to the doctor i showed y'all we took them to a checkup like a couple of vlogs back and the doctor said that she wants him to have like um i guess speech therapy in the home you could say because we was taking him to speech therapy and she was just i just told her it was a waste of time and money y'all we was literally paying four hundred dollars a month <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We was um literally paying four hundred dollars a month for him to go to that speech therapy just for him. You hear me talking about you? <laughs> and he won't pay that lady no mind. Yeah! He see him. He see himself. <laughs> so we told her that he's still not like actually like speaking sentences or like words per se. But he is making more noises. Because at first he was not like, he just would be silent. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't babbling or anything. So he is making progress. But Khalil has all, he has always been kind of like, a little bit, you want me to be quiet? Okay, he wants me to be quiet, y'all. He don't want me to tell his business. So I will see y'all in the morning. Good morning. Happy Sunday, you guys. It's, what time is it? 8.37. And we are just now getting, we've been up, but we just now got out of bed. We were watching Toy Story. The twins aren't, you see her face. The twins aren't feeling good. They sound like really hoarse. Um, They feel a little warm. She haven't said anything all day. Even when she don't want me to put her down or nothing. She haven't said anything. So I'm gonna give them some Tylenol. I don't know what happened overnight, literally, cause they were fine yesterday. But um, I'm gonna give them some Tylenol. If I can find it. That's not great. 
here. Want to take some medicine? <laughs> you want to sit down for one second? Lord, she don't want me to put her down, Jesus. Huh, Kalua? Here. What? Come take this medicine. But I'm about to fix him some breakfast. Can you bring that to mommy? Their dad went to go play basketball. Kalua, Kalua. Bring that to mommy. Did I tell y'all? No, I didn't. Um, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Go watch TV. You don't need to be fine with this. Well, come on now, bro. Yes. It's the first thing she done said all day. What? What happened to your finger? Let me see. Um. Oh, I didn't tell y'all that. I reached my under 200 pound goal. I was, I'm 198.1. Why y'all fighting? I'm 198.1, so that's a good thing. I'm not going to the gym today. Today, I'm not even relaxing today. I'm just gonna be doing some work in the house that need to be done, honestly. Uh, something always need to be clear. I'll probably just give them some milk and grapes because they're not, okay, Kaylani, I'm not putting you down. All I'm doing is leaning over. I can't even lean over, I gotta stand up. Huh? <laughs> Why you look like that? Oh Lord. I'm outside now, y'all. So I figured, I know I'm outside. Listen, y'all woke up with me at this point. <laughs> but um, I have my coffee. I'm also about to read my devotional. So I figured we could read it together. This is 100 Days of Believing Bigger. This is Devotional Journal by Marshawn Evan Daniels. So I'm just gonna read it. Instead of y'all looking at me me read, I probably would put, I'm going to put the picture up on the screen so that y'all can uh, read along if y'all want to. Because if you're anything like me, you don't like when people read to you. It was a big, <laughs> it was a big bug, y'all. Come on now. 
God, please get your animals. Get your kids. It's hot out here. So this one is called Desert Seasons. Let me bring it closer because y'all not going to be looking at my face anyway. Okay, this one is called Desert Seasons. They did not thirst when he led them through. Hold on, wait, y'all. I'm sorry. I got to take this off. I got this dig on. Fur robe on. It's hot. Whew. Okay. For real this time. Somebody knocking on the door. One of the twins. They supposed to be sitting down watching a movie. Desert seasons. They did not thirst when he led them through the deserts. He made water flow for them from the rock. He split the rock and water gushed out. Isaiah 48, 21. Disruption is indeed an equal opportunity employer. Being a follower of Christ does not somehow exempt us from hardship or seasons where it seems as if we're wandering alone in a desert wasteland. To the contrary, the pathway to higher purpose and promise almost always travels through a valley of pain, the desert. Perhaps it seems like others have abandoned you or severely disappointed you. What happened may have been unfair or downright evil, but God uses everything as a necessary part of your faith journey. There are some dimensions of inner destiny that can only be developed via difficulty. It's not punishment, it's preparation and realignment. When we shift our perspective, hardship is like weight that builds muscles, that builds muscle, endurance, and strength. The good news is that you're never alone. You've never, you're never deserted. You're being developed for a greater deployment. How has a recent disappointment chipped away at your faith? How is God inviting you to shift your perspective and see a bigger message and mission at work? So that's the question. And the prayer is, Lord, help me to wear situations loosely. I'm not entitled to have things go my way. Build in me the type of spiritual insight that sees your hand in the middle of every hardship. I liked that one. You know, because yesterday I was feeling a little like just some discouragement. Oh my gosh. God. It's time for me going to the house, y'all. I ain't even started sipping my coffee yet, but uh, these bugs, they out here early today. They woke up early or something. I mean, listen, baby, man. If you want to listen to the devotional, do it from afar, not near me, okay? It's time to go. Uh-uh, I can't do it, y'all. I'm sorry. Let me go back and fight. I was trying to do my devotional, so I'll just read it. I mean, I'll, I was trying to journal, but I'll just journal inside because I can't do this. I don't have food. I don't have coffee. It's coffee. It's coffee. Somebody's talking now. You feeling better? Are you feeling better? Huh? Oh. I need that. What? It's it's not lit. It's not lit. But you're correct. If it was lit, that's how you blow it. Wanna blow it? Blow it. Go. What? 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 Bye. What? I don't want to get up. What? what? She's telling me to come off. What? Okay, y'all. So we did a devotion. I'm about to sit here and journal. Probably listen to some music. I really do like this devotional, y'all. And again, I'm about to say it. It's in my Amazon storefront. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. But it is, you know? I got it from Amazon. Mommy. So like, if I Mommy. got it, yes. Here. Thank you. If I got it from Amazon, why not? It, the price is Mommy. different for y'all. So you know Here. what I'm saying? Just support your girl. Mom. 
so i'm gonna show y'all the book again it's 100 days of believing bigger i really really y'all i've had this book for years and i just just now really start getting into it sometimes that's just how i do like i have a book for a long time but but i don't pick it up or start reading it until i feel called and i just been reading it and every day it's been on point like every single day what i was trying to tell y'all outside was like yesterday i just was feeling some yesterday i just was feeling some discouragement and you know sometimes you just wonder like why god like why do you keep like why do i have keep having these troubles but it's all part of the plan it say i bought this april 29th of 2021 so april 29th of this month it'll be two years that i had this book and i'm just now getting into it but i really really like it y'all and it's only the book is only um 9.98 it's 41 percent off right now which i think is just saying that it's 41 percent off so to get people to buy it because every time i go look at the book it's like nine dollars and some change but this is this is what it says y'all see it and make sure you write your journals i mean make sure you date your journals y'all because let me show y'all something i don't know when i wrote this and i'm mad because I wrote this on day one of this book, but I don't know when. Since I had it for two years, I don't know. It could have been day one two years ago when I first opened it or something. I don't know. But the question was, how has trusting God's timing been a struggle for you? What might God be trying to teach you in the pro process? And I said, I yearn to have a more financially wealthy life and a physically fit body. Honestly, I am not deserving of either at this moment. I truly feel like God is trying to teach me discipline. I struggle bad with discipline. I can't even wake up on time in the morning. From this day forward, I will work more on discipline. And I was reading that and I was like, man, it's crazy how time go by and you realize how things change because now it's like, you know, no, I'm not where I want to be physically, but now I'm in a completely different mindset as to where like, um, discipline isn't so much as a problem anymore i'm yesterday when i was about to go to the gym right first of all i already did not feel like going i was so tired i was so tired i didn't feel like going we, we was taking the twins with us so it's like if you have kids you know when you gotta get them ready i ain't going <laughs> so we had to get them ready i already did not feel like going then the gym that i usually go to Oh, I think I told y'all the gym that I usually go to. It was a day going um a shooting on the high on the highway. Which now when I look back, I'm like that won't nobody but God because it was around the time that we were supposed to be leaving. So it was a shooting on the highway. They shut down the highway for two hours. Imagine if we would have left at the time that we were supposed to leave. So you know me kind of not feel like going at the original time was good. We went a little bit later. But we would have been in traffic for two hours, which we probably wouldn't have been going to the gym, baby. Because listen, two hours sitting in traffic, I would have been hot. Then when we got to the gym, um, you know, it's a fairly new gym. So it's like I'm trying to work my way around. Well, it is new. I've never been to that gym before. So I was just trying to work my way around, figure out where things was at. So then as I'm putting my phone on the tripod, I'm on. Yes, boo boo. Okay. Um. So Mommy. yes. Huh? Yeah. Ooh, thank you. What's that? Somebody dropped it on the floor. Nasty kids. Um. Yesterday, I was on the second floor outside. So the way that they had it was they had a second floor outside and a first floor that was outside. So I was trying to set up my phone on a tripod 
and literally as I'm trying to adjust it, it slipped out and fell right downstairs all the way from the second floor to the first floor. Luckily it fell in some dirt because if it would have fell in concrete, y'all, concrete, y'all, my phone probably would have been done. It fell in some dirt. So I had to figure out how to get outside because the where it fell at, it was kind of like the backside of the gym. So I had to go to the front desk, ask them, how do you get out there? Because the door that leads out there, it said, do not open or the alarm will sound. But the guy was like, just go ahead. It's not going to sound. So I went and got my phone, went back upstairs, worked out. Then one of the workouts that I was trying to do, I didn't have like an ankle strap. So the ankle strap kept popping off. I showed y'all that. And then I couldn't even do my full workout because the daycare portion closed at 1.30. So I couldn't do my full workout because we didn't get there until... I want to say it was like 12 15 or something so it's just everything i said that to say everything was trying to prevent me from working out and usually how i was back then probably when i wrote this i would have just not went to the gym y'all it's so many times where i have went to the gym pulled up to the gym got in the parking lot and said i do not feel like going in here and pull off or it's times where i went in the gym went in there sat on the little couch that they have in there scrolled on my phone didn't work out or it's times that I did do a little five I got on a stairmaster for five minutes and left or it's times where I have worked out and then I left and went right to Wendy's and McDonald's you know what I'm saying so I'm just in a completely different place in life and I'm just so grateful now for the financial part the financial part we still working on that baby okay because people be watching my videos and not trying to subscribe you know what the subscribers don't even matter honestly it's the views so people be not watching you know what i'm saying but it's okay because guess what when people get hit on to me they go oh my goodness where happened where happened where happened where happened where happened where happened oh i love it yeah you've been lost in the sauce but my loyal people already been here all right let me try. i'll just play it y'all i ain't cocky like that but anyway Kelani, y'all if y'all could see i'm not showing y'all anything nasty but i just want to show y'all how it look do y'all see that you know <laughs> what i told y'all that she boo boo do y'all see that like what kelani y'all listen baby they doing better with the potty training they're doing better but i'm so glad when they'll be able to tell me like they haven't boo boo in the potty yet they only have like pee so we'll get there because i'm tired of shame listen baby as they start eating more adult foods the smell changes I'm about to journal. Oh, I said all that. I went all around the world just to tell y'all to date y'all journal. Because I don't know when I wrote that. So, I'm about to journal. April 16, 2023. And then I'm going to edit this video. And I will see you guys. I'm going to have a video. Up for yeah, no, no. Don't touch. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. I'm going to have a video up for y'all Wednesday. So, I'll see y'all Wednesday.